Hi, okay, welcome back. Um, so I have made a lot of progress on my lovely uh, piece going on here, my cabinet. So you can see the, uh, the mess of comics that I have, right? Um, and uh, the, all the drawers that I finished. So um, in the design that I made, I ended up with an eighth of an inch short on a lot of the pieces um, that were cut off. So I ended up with some drawers that were slightly smaller, um, some pieces that were slightly smaller because I was losing an eighth of an inch with each cut. And really it was just an issue with the drawer pieces because there were so many to cut out of that board. Um, so what ended up happening is some of the drawers are just a little bit smaller, but I made those the side pieces because ultimately that really doesn't factor into um, the dimensions or anything super specific. So just it worked out. Um, and I may do, I mean, they'll look a little wonky and lopsided, but, you know, hey, what are you going to do? Um, so if you can see, I have actually moved on to assembling the cabinet. Um, so I'm just going to go over what I did here. So first, actually, let me go right here. I started with this. So I took each of the two by fours and I, um, in my plans, I set a foot for each drawer box plus clearance. So if you notice, I started down here, I started at the bottom, and I went ahead and I put a drawer slide. Now I put this about four inches above the bottom. So the top of the slider right here, the top of the slider is four inches from the bottom of the drawer. So the drawers are gonna be exactly at the very bottom of this. Um, so it's, it's really tight, but um, I decided that's what I wanted to do. So. I have the four inches here and then I put, laid this out. Basically what I did was I put guiding lines across and put this and it's fairly level. I might have to tweak as I um, put them in the actual cabinet, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so I used the level to make sure, but some of them are a little off, but I'm just gonna adjust that when I get them into the setup as you saw a little earlier. So I went ahead and I did all of that um, for the drawer sliders, put them in. Um, if you look at the drawer slider instructions, I'll show you how to put those together because I don't want to have to go over that. It's all in the instructions. So I still have more to do. I decided I wanted to take a break from attaching drawer sliders because there's a lot of measurement in that. And I decided to put it to one piece together. So here's what I have. Um, for my two by fours, I had three of them for each cabinet because what I have is I have one here, one in the middle, and one over here. Now. The idea is that the drawer sliders have to be level. I think there's one that's a little off, but I'll be fixing that in a little bit. Um, basically what I did was I have the eight drawers set up here. Um, I went ahead and decided to attach the top first because the top is secured by pocket holes. So I went ahead and I put in pocket holes. You have to have one two inches from the edge and the other one two inches from the edge and the other is like six inches in between. So I ended up with an odd value, but who cares? Cause it's in the back and no one's gonna see it. Um, so I went ahead and I did this. Uh, this is the front, the other side is the back. Um, and putting the middle piece in, you can't really see it cause it's too dark. But what I did was I measured from this edge right here to this one right here. This is exactly 10 inches. So I measured it exactly 10 inches, put a pencil line, put another pencil line three quarters of an inch away and then measured another 10 just to make sure. And that lined up pretty well. Um, this is a three quarter piece of plywood, so three quarter inch piece of plywood, so it fits right in there. And each drawer has 10 inches. I'm actually going to test it out with this one. I put on the drawer sliders on the drawer. Technically you're supposed to put on the drawers first, but I wanted to assemble this monstrosity first and get all the others kind of constructed and put together. And then I can sit in my cozy chair and, and <laughs> assemble the drawer boxes because those are easy to do on my desk. So I used the uh, 90 degree angle clamps for the outside edges. The middle one doesn't do that, but what I did was I added a little wood glue and then just um, lined it up and, and screwed it in, praying to God. And I used that kind of as a spacer so it wouldn't like slide all over the place. Um, so that's basically it for now. I have to take one of those and attach them to the bottom. Um, once I test my clearance, I want to test my clearance, make sure the drawer is coming in and out, and then I'll go ahead and uh, attach the bottom. And then I think I'm going to leave it as is until I get the rest of the drawers in there, and then I'll go ahead and put the back on. Um, 
or I might, you know, put the back on and, and hope to <laughs> for the best. I just want to make sure my drawers are good before I start attaching the back because I have to remove that to adjust any of the sliders and I don't want to do that. So maybe I'll just test out this one drawer with each of the sliders so we can make sure we're good. But anyway, um, that's where I'm at for right now. Um, I'm going to work on getting the rest of those pieces attached, uh, the rest of the sliders on these, assembling them like so. Um, it took me about a day for just this piece um, because it just, it took that long, like measuring, stopping, trying to figure out what I was gonna do. Hopefully this video helps you so you don't have to spend all day, you know, one 12 hour day doing this. I'm hoping to at least, I don't know, get some drawers done and, and have this one cabinet assembled uh, before I call it quits today, take a couple days off for Thanksgiving and then come back and finish them. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, have fun. Bye.